Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dreamer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm going to continue the videos on the XR Interaction Toolkit provided by Unity. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can actually delete items, how we can toggle plane detection, and deleting items with the XR Interaction Toolkit turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. So I'm going to show you the process that I follow to actually make it work. This is going to be a little bit of a hack, but we're going to be able to you know, make it work for now. And then when Unity applies the fix, I'm going to show you how we can change it to use a package. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you the fix to make sure that you can delete items in AR with the XR Interaction Toolkit. So I'm going to be doing some hacks. And the reason why I got to do those hacks is because Unity hasn't provided a fix for it yet. Once they apply a fix, we're going to be using the packages. For now, I'm going to be customizing how this package works. So the first thing that I want to do before we get started is I want to update the version that I'm using right now. I am on version 0.9.2. I'm going to be updating to the latest one, which is 0.9.3. So let's go ahead and select that. I'm going to be updating that. And now that we have it updated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be bringing it into the project. And I know that that's not recommended, but that's the only way to make this work for now. Once Unity has that fixed, we're going to be basically going back to the package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that package that we just downloaded and then basically drag it and drop it into our scene. So it's going to go drag it and drop it into the assets directory. And then it's going to import it. It's going to say that it doesn't like that the that there's already an interaction toolkit. That's OK. We're going to fix that. And what I'm going to do actually is go into my packages here. I'm going to go into my manifest and make sure that I'm opening this with VS Code. So open code as well. Let's drop this in here. I'm going to be removing this packaging here. Let's go ahead and go back into, into Unity. I'm also going to be removing that asset from the package cache. So if you don't know where that is, you can either you can either right click on one of the packages, the package that we just removed, or you can go into the project library package cache and you're going to be able to see it in there. And it looks like I already deleted it and I did already delete it by moving it to this directory. So we should be OK with that. And now what we're going to get is going to get another error. And the reason why we're getting this error is because we're going to need a helper, a helper library as well. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity. I'm going to go into my package manager. We're going to be searching for actually we already have it in here. So XR legacy input helpers. We're going to be using the one that they recommend. And when I say they, I mean Unity. They recommend using 2018.3 because that's the one that they have verified. So I'm going to click on Install. And that's going to be fixing the errors that we're getting in the console. And let's give it a second or two. So once we have this working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can actually delete an item. OK, so we should be OK. And we don't have any errors. So there's another thing that we need to do to make this work. And before I make changes to the scene, I'm going to be creating a new scene. It's going to make this a little bigger here. And the one that we're using right now is Addo. It's going to be, let's go ahead and just call it just something simpler. We can just say placement with removing. We can just say with removal of, we can say placeable. Place object, I think it's fine. And there we go. I think this is a long name. Let's, let's make it. Let's make it smaller. I'm just going to say AR removable of place. I can just say place object. I think that's fine. And we can double click it. OK, so we should be we should be OK in there. So now what I want to do is if we have the entire package that Unity provided. So we can go into runtime. You can go into interaction. I'm going to double click on the interaction manager. It's going to open the one that Unity provides. And I'm going to make it bigger. So the issue it's happening when we try to register. So if we search for register interactor, we can go and find the line that we're going to be changing. So if you notice, there's a line in here that says if this is an AR gesture interactor, we're going to try to you know connect. We're going to call this change the Boolean value, which then is going to go into the update method and try to reconnect the gesture interactables. The same thing on the on register is going to do that. So I'm going to be, let's go ahead and go into my desktop. And I'm going to show you a change that we need to make. And I'm going to be comp comparing this one with the one that we're going to that we're going to be changing. So it's going to go ahead and go into compare with text with clipboard. And it's going to show you here what changes we're going to be making. So 
what we're going to be doing is if this is an AR based gesture interactable, we're going to get the AR based gesture interactable. We're going to get reference, we're going to disconnect it, and we're basically going to reconnect it. So we're going to do that on the register interactable, and we're also going to do that on the unregister interactable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and replace it with these changes. And now if we scroll up, you're going to see that we should now have that those code, the code changes that we need to apply. The, the code changes came from GitHub. I posted an issue. Actually, somebody else posted an issue before I posted an issue. And there was a workaround here that this person nicely gave us. And he just says, you know, just, you know, look for this code and then replace it with this code. I posted the null exception that I was getting. And then basically, you know, he also posted a project if you want to download the project with the changes. I don't think it's a full project. I think it's just a change to the class. So you can download the class and look at it. So now let's go back into let's go back into Unity. And everything should compile. We shouldn't get any errors and we don't get any errors, so everything works fine. So what I'm gonna do now is we need to make some changes to that way that this works. I want to be able to delete the object. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let's go into our canvas. And I'm going to be adding, I'm gonna go into my game view so that everything, there we go, everything resizes correctly. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new object. So I'm just going to go and say, I'm going to add a button, the text mesh pro, because those look really good. And I'm just going to make it bigger here. Let's go ahead and, and we can do, we can just put it right here in the middle. I'm just going to pan it, ping it to the bottom, change the value of X. And I think 255, I think that's fine. And then the name of this, I'm just going to say, we can just say clear, clear objects. And that should be good. I think I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. We can probably go about 30. Okay, and I think that should be that should be good. Now if we go into the AR placement interactable, what's going to happen is this, this is going to be the one that is placing, I think this one is placing multiple objects. Oh no, this one is the one that's placing a single object at a time. So that's fine. We can just say clear object and it's just going to clear that single object. This is my own implementation, so make sure that you watch the previous video because I walk you through how this works. Just wanted to make sure that we had everything that we needed. Okay, so we have that in there. The other thing that I'm gonna do as well here, let's go ahead and add a new object. This one is gonna be, we just call it the AR session session manager. And I don't know why I call it a session manager. I think it just it just handles more of you know, I might I might clear the planes as well, the, disable the planes in here, also clear the game objects, that way we can create new game objects. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go into a new script, we're just gonna call this one the AR Session Manager. And then just go ahead and click on Create. And wait until this completes, and I think it just put it under, let me make sure that I can find it. Okay, we put it under Asset, we don't want, we don't want it under Assets. I'm going to be just putting these on the, the XR extensions. I think that's a good place for it. And there we go. So we have it in there. And then we should now have it as well in here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to be adding a, a new serializable property. This one is going to be the AR place. Let's actually call the, I'm just thinking about if I should call the AR place. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and call the AR placeable place place i think it's called placement interactable yep and i have it right here so that's the one that we want so i'm gonna call that one i'm just gonna put it right here and then this is going to be our placement interactable single it's gonna get a reference to that we're also gonna need a reference to the airplane manager because we're gonna be disabling those plane planes as well i'm gonna say airplane manager and then airplane manager and I know that I'm probably making a lot of mistakes, guys, so make sure that you fast forward if you don't want to see my mistakes. <laughs> so there we go. So let's see. So we have that. We have it both serializable. And so the other thing that I'm going to do is on this component, I want to add an object that it's going to, a method that is going to delete the, basically the placement prefab. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say public boy, I'm going to say destroy placement placement and I think we call it placement prefab in here so placement prefab in our case it's going to be an object because we're really not deleting the prefab itself so it's going to say I'm going to delete that and it's going to call destroy and we're just going to call the the one that we're going to delete is going to be the object not the 
the actual prefab because that it's not going to work. Okay, and I think that I think that's everything that we need to do on this class. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to be adding a new method. And this method is going to be the one that is going to allow us to basically delete. So I want this to be able to do most of that. And, and in fact, what I'm gonna do is instead of me calling that directly and saying, okay, I'm gonna delete the brief app, I want the I want the planes also to be disabled and then calling that method. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say disable, we can just say disable planes. And then we can also do an enable planes. You can just do enable planes. Or we can also do a toggle. I think I think either either way it will work. I think I'm just gonna do that. Disable planes and enable planes. So what I'm gonna do is in the disable planes, I'm just gonna say, okay, you know what? I want all the trackables that we have. So to do that, this is going to give us a list of trackables. So I'm just gonna say var and no canvas render. This is gonna be var and then planes. It's gonna be, these are gonna be AR planes. If you hover over it, you're gonna see that. And then we just say, we can just say, you know, for each AR plane, and I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna type the class name so that you know what I'm what I'm doing. And we can just lowercase that in planes. And what I'm gonna do is actually disable those planes. So I'm just gonna say, you know what, grab that plane. I'm gonna grab the game object of that plane and then just set it to disable. So I'm just gonna say set active and then it's gonna be false. I'm gonna do the same thing on the enable planes. I'm going just, instead of just doing enable and disable, we're just gonna say, you know, this is gonna be true. And thinking about it, we can just, you know, we can just change the state of a plane here. We can just say change state. I can just pass in the value of true. Actually, the, the state value is gonna be passing here. And that way we can get rid of that. All right, so the next thing that I need to do is I want to be able to delete the object that I just instantiated. So to do that, I'm gonna do you know what, I'm going to just say destroy, or we're gonna say clear all objects. In our case, it's gonna be one, but but just in case, if you wanted to use the one that had multiple, you can also do it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I need to grab this component and I'm gonna say destroy placement object. Also, what I want to do is I want a button that is going to be you know changing the state of the planes. So we're gonna be using both of these in, in a different way. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And I'm gonna add a different button for the other. So this one is gonna clear the object. In this case, I'm just gonna call it object because we're just gonna be clearing one. And then the other thing that I'm also going to do is we're going, we're going to be disabling and you know changing the state of the planes. So what I could do is, I said that I wasn't gonna do that, but what we could do is we could ju just do this, this as a toggle instead of you know instead of doing what i'm doing right now because otherwise it's just going to be it's just not going to be as robust so we can just say void toggle planes and i think that's i think that's going to work much better and then we can just say you know what if the plane manager is currently enabled so you just say enable and then i'm just going to do a not on the plane manager so that's gonna be the first thing that we do. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do as well is we have two options. We can do that logic in here, or I can just call that method. So if this is enabled, that means that this is going to be true. Then we're gonna set it to false. So if this is false, I'm going to make sure that we hide all the planes as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna say, you know, change a stage planes. And I don't know why I call it stage. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be stay. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna fix that and change a state. We can just say state of planes, and then we can just rename that method. So what's gonna happen is if this is set to true, saying that we want to enable it, then we're gonna be enabling you know the planes on all the the different trackables if we have any. If this is set to false, we're gonna set it to false, so we're not gonna see anything. And in fact, we can just make this one private since we don't need to expose it. And then these two methods we're just going to be removing because we don't need those. And I'm just going to be deleting the, you know, the objects in here. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity and let's call the toggle planes. So this one is going to be the clear, just gonna say clear button. This one is gonna be the toggle planes. And if you're wondering why am I doing this today and 
if I did it with my Air Foundation videos. The reason is because this actually didn't work right away and the XR Interaction Toolkit wasn't as straightforward. So I think showing you what I did to fix it, it's going to, you know, it's going to help you on the long term. And what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and snap this one to the right. So I'm just going to say, I think 170 is fine. Negative to 50. That's fine. And then on this one, I'll just do, I think that, I think that works. And let me just go ahead and make sure that I have, that one, that one was 170. So let's make this one 170. And then this one, it's going to be, let's snap it to the left. When we say 250, let's make sure that we keep it to 50. So it's gonna, this one is gonna be clear. This one is going to be toggle planes. It's actually plane detection, but I think that, I think that makes sense if you look at it. And then we can just do 20, 25. Okay, so perfect. So now what I need to do is I'm going to be wiring this up to the methods that we just added. So I'm gonna just, just go ahead and collapse this, collapse this so we have more space. So the on click event there, it's going to be calling into this object. We're gonna go into the air session manager and we're working with the clear. So make sure that you search for the clear and we have clear all objects. So that's the one that we're gonna be calling. Let's go ahead and click on toggle planes. And by default, this is gonna be set to true. So, you know, when this executes the scene X stars, we're gonna be doing plane detection. As soon as we click on this button, the plane de detection is gonna change to off. So we're not gonna be doing plane detection. And then we can just toggle between that. So let's go ahead and click on, drag it and drop it here. And I'm losing my voice. I think I'm speaking too fast. And another thing that I also want to do is I want to change the label of that. And to do that, I'm going to be adding a reference to that object. So let's go ahead and do private. And I'm gonna say button. And let's make sure that I am including the namespace that we need. It's going to be using Unity Engine, Unity Engine, the UI, there we go. And then this is gonna be the toggle button. We can just call it toggle plane button. I think that, I think that works. And I'm gonna make it serializable so that we can bring it in and associate it in the inspector. Okay, so that it's one piece of the puzzle. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna say, okay, if the AR plane manager is currently enabled, let's go ahead and, I don't know what's happening. Let me go ahead and, there we go. So if it's currently enabled, we're gonna be displaying something. If it's disabled, we're gonna be displaying something else. So I'm gonna grab, so if you notice, if we go back into Unity, the, the button has a child object and the child object is going to be of a text mesh pro type. So I'm gonna click on edit script here. I'm gonna be grabbing this type because we're gonna need it. And that's the type that we're gonna be bringing in for the, basically for the component that we're gonna be searching for. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, okay, grab the toggle, plain button. And then I wanna grab the child's components in children. So it's gonna be one. And it's going to complain that it doesn't know. So we're gonna be bringing in T, basically TM Pro for Text Mesh Pro. And I know that I'm gonna need this component here. So it's gonna say, you know what, grab the text box there and this is gonna be the text for the toggle. There we go. And now we can change the value of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call the text property here. And we can, we have an option to say, you know, whether this is on and off. So I'm just gonna say, we can just say toggle, or we can say, yeah, we can just say enable. So if this is enable, we're gonna be basically setting this, we can just say disable, and say disable AR planes. And if this is not enable, we're gonna say enable AR plane. We're gonna say AR plane detection, but I think it's gonna, it's gonna run, we're gonna run out of space. And if we wanna make this, you know, shorter, you can just do a ternary operator here. And then we can just do, we can just do it this way. I like using capital letters for some reason, it just makes it look better. So I'm just gonna use that here and make sure that my code is clean. Okay, so if this is set to, so what's gonna happen, we're gonna get that component, that text mesh pro GUI component, we're gonna get it back. Once we get it back, we're gonna say, okay, if AR Plane Manager is enabled, we're gonna say, you know, the option is to disable it. Otherwise, if it's disabled, we're gonna say the option is to enable it. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity and make sure that we're gonna be able to fit those all that text. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize these two buttons just a tiny bit more. And it's going to make it bigger in that area. And then perhaps a little bigger there. And something like that works. And now I'm going to just click on the transforms. Make sure that I have, so this is 258. I think that's fine. We can do, we can probably just do 250. Or even to, let's go ahead and do 240. I think 240 works. And then this side, we're going to be doing negative 240. And I think that it's going to be, and I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller. So let's select the text on both of them. It's going to do 22. And if we select this one right here, and let's say, let's copy the text that has the longer text. I like to do that just to make sure that everything is going to fit. Yep. And that's going to fit. We can probably just do 24. Yep, 24 works, and we'll do 24 on this one as well. Make sure that I, I don't check the lowercase. And that should be all that. And let me make sure that I have everything that I need it. So this one is going to be calling the clear button on click event. It's going to clear all the objects. And this one is just going to be toggling the planes. And that's honestly everything that we need. I think one of the things that I could do here as well just to make sure that we're seeing this information, we can just call my logger here, instance, and then we can just log info. And we can just say, you know, clear objects executed. And then we can do the same thing here on the toggle planes. Toggle planes executed. And in fact, we can just also display the state of the plane. We can just say plane, plane AR plane state. And we can just, you know, type in that. And I'm going to use my interpolation in this case. We can just say that airplane state is set to. And then the value is going to be true or false. And I think that's everything that we need there. It's going to make that a little smaller. And yep, let's go ahead and go back into Unity. Let's wait until it compiles. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to be adding this scene to my available scenes to be built. Click on Add Open Scenes. And now I can just hit build, and this is going to be my XR demo. That's fine. And then let's just save it to the desktop. It's going to build, and I'm going to show you the results in, you know, by running it on my phone in just a few seconds. All right, guys. So sounds like I forgot to associate a couple of properties on the AR Session Manager that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and click on the AR Session Manager. Make sure that you associate the AR Placement Interactable with the component that it's labeled that way. I'm also going to be associating the AR Manager, which is in the AR Session Origin. And lastly, the Toggle Plane button, which we're going to need to be able to bind to it. So I'm going to click on the Toggle Planes. And now we should be able to build it. I got a couple of exceptions, so I realized I needed to just record the, you know, the fixes for it. Otherwise, you're going to get the same issue. So now that it built, I'm going to show you as soon as it's done building. So I got this running, so I'm going to show you the results. It's going to hit Play. And I am scanning in my office. You can see the plane detection is working. I also have placed an object on the scene. I have the disable and also clear object. Just moving the object around. I try to make it big just to, you know, just to show you the interactions were, you know, more clear. You can also move it around. I disable, you know, AR planes. You can see how the planes went away. Also deleted the item. And, you know, I'm printing a lot of information about the interactions right now. Moving it around, and you'll see that at some point in here, I'm also disabling, you know, and rotating some of the objects. So, removed it, and then also rescale it. So, that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned today, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. If you guys have any questions or anything that I just mentioned on the XR Interaction Toolkit, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources from the developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.